to go flags up they racing from their 2000 meter marker let's give them a chance to get into racing formation up there's winning queen one of the first to respond there's a few that want the lead midnight crystal also shows intent and summer land on the outside of that one also showing a bit of intent with united express so a mad scramble for the lead it's midnight crystal who won the speed battle with summer land pressing hard in second and summer land might just circle all runners and go and lead them with united express in third cerulean dancers racing in fourth the black with the pink then comes winning queen i Ideal Future's got five to make up as we drop back to the red cap of On Pity Pat, the black cap of Liverpool legend. Go Flickety's racing about seven lengths off the leader and last year's been switched off and that's only eight lengths off them. Directly on the far side of the track, it's Midnight Crystal in front by length and a bit. In second is Summer Land, United Express is in third. Cerulean Dancer with winning queen, Ideal Future. On Pity Pat is racing in no man's land. Then comes Go Flickety, further back to Liverpool Legend and last year playing the waiting game and now nine lengths off the leader. There's about 800 metres left to run and in front over here is Midnight Crystal. Going to try and lead them from barrier to box. In second is Summer land on the inside is united express waiting to pounce winning queen go flickety now gets a shake of the rain cerulean dancer to the outside ideal future liverpool legend and last year and on the extreme outside is on pity pat race develops and midnight crystal goes two lanes clear winning queen is in second united express yes go flickety out the pack and chasing midnight crystal winning queen go flickety last year is also a massive runner Last cheer now comes from last to first. Last cheer and Ryan Munger go for home. Last cheer going to be very hard to beat. In second is Go Flickety, but last cheer switched it on and goes away to win very impressively. Last cheer is going to win it geared down to victory. Second, Go Flickety. Third was Liverpool legend. Then came winning queen. Midnight Crystal went hard up in front and has stopped to a walk. Folded late in the day all right so last year well done to sinjin gray you'll be very happy with this performance at about four rand 90 a win on the tote and one rand 50 a place picked them off one by one and was just geared down that last part and there goes last year straight into the number one box and that's how we run race number six i'm going to hand you back to the studio we'll be back for the penultimate and that's race number seven Number two, last cheers come through for Sunjun Gray, owner, breeder, trainer. Well done, Sunjun. Four-time winner, over 350,000 rand now, and Ryan Munger aboard this afternoon. You timed that to perfection. You sat near the back, and when you pressed the button, it was all over. Yeah, exactly. You know, um, kudos to Mr. Gray. He found a perfect race for this filly, and I thought she was the right sort of filly in this race. And, you know, what was nice is for, for this sort of division, they actually went a very genuine pace. So being at the back of the field, I didn't have to stress too much. I was... I had the third horse next to me, the second horse in front of me, and yeah, once those front horses got tired, it was just a matter of just weaving my way through, getting, getting a clear run for her at about the 400, and yeah, she's won a very good race. It's nice to have her back in the winner's box. I have had a few close seconds with her, but it's nice to finally get a win on her. And third for Sinjin as well, so a good race all round. Yeah, I have to say big thanks to Mr. Gray. At the moment, his horses are running very well, and he's throwing me some bones and some meat on. So, Mr. Gray, thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, before I forget, Bryant's and auctioneers, can't forget about them. They're the best auctioneers around. And before I forget your favourite early in the day, you and I were chatting off air. Just once or twice has been slow out of the gates, but today, not interested. Yeah, geez, you know, Lyle, I was very gutted with that. I really thought he would just about win that race. And I, I, it's a horse I've got high hopes for. And, you know, the best analogy I can put for the public and the punters out there, it's like, getting into your nice fancy Ferrari, turning the ignition on and the car doesn't start. You know, the gate just opened and he didn't want to go. So hopefully we just get to the bottom of him. I'm sure he'll be back. He is a very nice horse. And um, yeah, I suppose that's racing. These things happen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lau. Thanks for your thoughts, Ryan. Well done to uh, Sinjin Gray, first and third. Two, four, three and ten. That is race number six. Still two more to go out here at the Big T.